so we've had a bit of an eventful morning. I uh, got the mini stuck. Ah, so excited, so excited. Our first demo. Just crawl the root and just increase your plant production overall. You shouldn't have told Jason that. Fast means to him. And I mean, he when you turn right, it grabs too hard. It puts too much stuff Does on the Does he know food. that? Yeah, he, well, he's supposed to anyway. <laughs> exciting stuff going on today actually all week so I am uh, filming a lot and hoping to take you guys live at some point too Jason really really likes doing the live stuff just because um, well he can answer all your questions right there and it's like I'm not holding the camera in his face so okay so when we did the pivot change to really focus on Chronicles of a Farmer's Wife and what it meant um, we also did some changing to our merch, and as you guys have kind of seen, um, I have them. They're beautiful, and I can't wait to show them with you guys. So, I haven't seen them. This is the first box I've gotten, other than just a couple sample shirts. So, we changed the color scheme, we changed the fonts just a little bit to, um, really hone in on what meant to me, the CFW meant to me, from Farm Focus. You guys can go get these shirts right here link in the description um it's on my blog you guys can check it out so jason called and then this is on a tee as well and i i this like i can't wait for it to warm back up now and wear this guys it's a tee it's a different design it's on black which i wasn't sure how i felt about it but look look at how pretty that teal looks look at that ah! makes my heart so happy to see all of what i and um, bringing to the table now. Uh, sometimes I felt like I was not bringing much to the table as the CFW brand, but <sighs> there's so much. There's so much I just want to share and do. And let's go get some coffee from Carol.
Yep, whenever. Here, I'll take the post. You got him? Girls, kiddos. So we've had a bit of an eventful morning. I uh, got the mini stuck in a ditch because it's not somewhere I normally cross at. And then the cows bulldozed right through the orange wire because Jason thinks they can't see it as well. So our ladies are trained nicely most of the time to poly wire. So he has one end and I have one end. And what we're doing is just driving them back because we don't want them on here. We don't have any fence or turn it fence. So we are driving them back up, kind of hurting them towards where we have, see how she kind of jumped when the wire touched her. Even though it's clearly not on right now, they respect it. We've had to do this a couple of times where they've been where we don't want them to be or we've moved them. We want to push them somewhere else. Carol, I don't know if you can see her, graciously came over because I got the mini stuff, but she is unrolling the poly wire we just set up to get them to come back in the front. So today is obviously a three man. man job just to make it a little bit easier this is the really hard part about rotational grazing um, cattle in our area there are no there are no fences anymore it's all rotational or uh, it's all row crops so you really want to make sure you have a good parameter fence obviously this is rented ground where we hay so there is no fence Probably gonna want to raise up. I didn't think about that at this point. I've never, un I've never had to unload. You could have at least washed the tractor. It's used. It's used. Used equipment. <laughs> it's farming for you. Farming. Ah, so excited. So excited. Our first demo. So we're pretty excited. Ranch work showed up late last night and uh, brought one of their aerators for us to play with all week on our pasture ground, on our fields. This is pretty exciting, y'all. Jason, that fast means to him, and I mean, he raised.
makes it 15 miles per hour. <laughs> That's a good dip. When you turn right, it grabs too hard. It puts too much stuff Does on the Does he know food. that? Yeah, he, well, he's supposed to anyway. We did not go this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this field was originally, it's, so we've been married eight years. So this is the seventh year of alfalfa. So it's kind of died out. It's had a lot of winter kill. The least amount of alfalfa field. And, uh, We've played around where we're like going to make it pasture ground, but we can't decide what we're doing. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> They're getting good penetration. Oh, we're... Yep. Probably. Yeah, it's got good penetration. You're not going to get as much ground fracture with this moisture. But what it's doing is you're cutting all the roots. Getting, it, getting that air down deep so once it, the roots are reestablished, they're going to want to go deeper. Oh, there is a lot of worms, aren't there? Yeah, there's worms. There's worms right there. I guarantee you go over there and you ain't going to find them. You mean oh, across oh, across no, the road? Yeah, they've right. already killed everything over there. I'll go up and turn around and come back. Okay. And then I'll have her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Time of year, yeah. moisture content, the traction levels, it all yeah. it all goes hand in hand of, of what the machine will actually do. This field, we planted this alfalfa to uh, fall just for change. Really? Yeah, it, it'll it'll cut and sprawl the root and just increase your plant production overall. That's it. Are you gonna go in the tractor today? You gonna go ride? <laughs>